I think that people don't often think of ICE as an agency that has a human face. Our investigators, our special agents, our intel specialists are all people working to enforce laws that not only protect the physical security of our country, but also the basic freedoms, dignity, and human rights of the people who live here. My name is Marie Martinez. I am the Section Chief for Immigration and Customs Enforcement's Victim Assistance Program. Some of the most interesting and rewarding cases to work on are cases that involve the exploitation or abuse of our most vulnerable, and that of course is children. And there's one case in particular that I can think of about three years ago that involved a number of uh, very young girls from Cambodia who were groomed to be sexually abused and exploited by a U.S. citizen who was traveling to and from Phnom Penh from his home in California. One of the difficult things about these cases is building that trust and rapport with these very young victims. Often their first interaction with an American was that horrifically traumatic and abusive interaction with someone who has sexually assaulted and abused them. And so in this particular case, I was lucky enough to be able to work with a number of these young girls during the period of time that they were preparing to testify all the way through their testimony until their return to Cambodia. And one of their favorite activities in the downtime when they were in trial prep was to go to the beach and run around and act like kids and play and look at the ocean. And uh, we would take them to do that from time to time. And I remember one of the youngest victims, who was about nine at the time of her victimization, and almost 12 at the time that she came to the United States to testify. She was a very brave little girl. And this was a couple of days before she left. And uh, I noticed she was sketching. She liked to draw, and she was drawing throughout her time here. And as she was sketching, I asked her what she was drawing, and she said she was drawing a picture of herself. And the final product of this picture, when she finally showed it to me, was a picture of a radiant little girl standing in front of the ocean with her arms outstretched, looking out towards a bright sun. And she explained to me that this was a picture of herself. And this was how she felt after being helped by us and working with us, and that she felt good and hopeful about her future. And she gave it to me as a gift when she left, and it's a constant reminder of um, even the little things that may seem uh, small and inconsequential that go towards caring for a victim, making them feel heard and understood and validated, uh, really go a long way into um, securing a sense of hopefulness about their future. And so for this little girl, she was able to leave the process of working with us feeling better and more optimistic than when she went into it, and that was a major victory.